Hello, audience. You have found a secret path to Joel Adventures, where I, the Joel, lead you on perilous journeys through adventure and role-playing games. And we return once more to Final Fantasy for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And look, we have an airship now, which means we can go places. In fact, we can go three new places. We're going to go to some towns. Yeah, yeah. So, directly south of here, on the north side of the map, flips around, is this town, Gaia. Now, Gaia is an interesting place. It uh, doesn't get a lot of visitors, and everybody here wears pink. This town is Gaia. Oh, thanks, guy. Let's see what we got here. We got some magic stores, more people wearing pink. It's a nice place. Uh, how you doing? Everyone thinks the tower in Ya Nikurm Desert is a m mirage. I wonder. Hmm, miraculous. Oh, darn it. Thanks, guy. Screwed it up. Okay. So let's see here. This town. Uh, has some magic stores, but we don't have any magic users, so we're not going to worry about that. Yes, more people. Unbelievable! You are outsiders, right? How'd you get this far north? We flew. Yeah, yeah. Which? What's that broom up to? It's talking backwards. Just in case you didn't figure it out earlier. This one says... Rewap. Teirg. Eva. Uoi. Odd. Yeah? Or, do you have great power? <laughs> Oh, Broom, you're so curious. And what do you say to me, Mr. Pink Monk? Have you been to the city south of here? I just cannot understand a word spoken there. I wonder what language. Da, 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 da. It's Lufernian or something, and we're not going to go there because it's really hard and we can't talk to them yet. The fairy at the spring was kidnapped. Aww. Well, that'll be important later. Legends say that the castle in the west is a place to test courage. Now, that's important. That's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go test our courage. But first, we're going here and look at cat claws. Not very useful for us. Uh, if you have a black mage in your group, they're very helpful for black mage. Best weapon you can get for black mage, aside of like Excalibur. So here we go. We got some new defense items: gold ring and or gold bracelet and pro ring. Now we want to get pro rings for everyone, sort of. First thing we're gonna do though is we are going to unequip our monk down here then you don't get nothing Oop, no not drop darn it <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing unequip and sell what did I what did I unequip I hope it wasn't too valuable all right here we go we're right, gonna sell all the stuff that he has sell whose item do you want to sell his yeah now the reason that we are selling all of his things is because his absorb was at 17 with all of his stuff equipped. And he's at level 17. And when you have a monk with no armor on, his defense is the same as his level. So, it's the same. Yeah, the pro ring would not come up a little bit, but in a couple levels it'll be even. And we need the room to pick up stuff, because there's stuff that we need. Okay, so we're gonna get a gold bracelet for our thief, and three pro rings for everybody else. And they can all be held by him, because he has room now. Ta-da! Gold bracelet, pro ring, yes, pro ring, yes, and pro ring, yes. There we go. Okay, so that's our armor shopping. We have to go back in there to sell uh, the stuff we don't need. Let's see here, gold bracelet, and I think it takes the place of the gloves. Let's see if that works. There we go. Yeah. So. Now, if I remember correctly, these are actually better than the iron gauntlets for our fighters. Let's double check. Um, absorb 56. Okay. Absorb 56. Absorb 56. I can remember things. Okay. And now, absorb 60. Yeah, it is better. See? Okay, awesome. Now, we just need to uh, sell everything that our monk has. So, he'll have all kinds of room for new things go do it and then we're gonna get out of here we're gonna scram okay you can have this silver thing and you can have this um, iron gauntlets and you can have this gloves there we go now our group is in tip-top shape <laughs> and our monk is completely naked awesome that's how we like it around here all right so we're done with this place now remember we came in the right 
little town thing. I think we're gonna actually exit the right little town thing, which means in order to actually get anywhere, yeah, we gotta go back in this one and then exit from this one, even though they're the exact same place. It kicks you out wherever you go in. Okay. So there's a couple of other towns that you can get to at this point in the game if you really want to using the airship. Uh, the airship can't land in water or on river water, but you could land it right here and then walk all the way down here through some very treacherous enemies to come to this town. The only thing is, there's only magic stores in this town right now. And there's some people that you can't even talk to, that you can't understand their language. So, let's see. Instead of going there, I think we're gonna go over to there, which is basically, yeah. I like using the edge of the map. I like going over the edge and reappearing on the other side. It's, I think it's more fun. Here we go. Here we are, we're going here. Am I too far south? No, this is it, okay. We're gonna go to this place, which we could not reach before without the airship because this river doesn't exit anywhere. You can't take the boat. See, this exits to this forest. Now, you can't land on this marsh. You can't land on this river. You can't land on this forest. The only thing the airship can land on is patches of pure green land. And there isn't any anywhere near this town, see? So the closest place we can get to to get over there is over here. And I think what we're, I'm going to do is we're going to be coming to and from this town a lot. So I'm just going to cut here and meet you guys back in the town. Okay, and here we are. This is the town. So this town doesn't have a lot going for it. We got an item store. Uh, hold on, I'm going to buy some potions real quick. I used some up. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this town has an item shop with some basic items. A place where you can heal dead party members, some people to talk to, and a couple of magic stores and an inn. Not too much to this town. Down here to the south, there is uh, a, an important area for later, this little uh, dock area. And we're going to talk to everyone in the town in a later episode when this is all more important to us. This is all stuff for way far off in the future episodes. If we had some wizards, we'd definitely want to come here right now for the magic stores. The only reason we're here today is talk to this guy. He's a dragon. He says, I saw Bahamut, but to be honored as a true warrior, I must return with proof of my courage. So, we got a guy telling us about a, a castle of courage and a dragon telling us about needing proof of courage for the dragon Bahamut. What could it all mean? Let's go find out. I'll meet you guys back at the airship. Alright, we're back at the airship. Here we go. So, we need to figure out what's going on with this test of courage in this castle and all that. So, to get some more information, we're going to go to some islands. Let's see, uh, the north of here. Okay. So, in these islands, we have a bunch of little caves. And I don't remember which one is the important one. Let's go check them all out. Here we are. Now these are safe, kind of like cities. Ooh, skulls. Nothing here. I would disagree. There's a skull. So we get some free stuff. Oh, I got a cabin. That's nice. I like to use the town music here. It's like a dragon town. I need a courageous one to bring back our poor our courage. Yeah, kind of like the other one was telling us. Okay, let's see here. What's in this house? Dun, dun, dun. More treasure, we. Yeah, I got some money and a soft potion. Soft potions are nice, and they're pretty expensive, so it's nice to get a free one. They're like 800 G's back in town, so some free soft is nice. Let's see. So that's it for that one. Not much going on there. Let's see. There's no island there. We'll just kind of work our way from left to right, checking out all the islands. Let's try this double one. Here, there we go. What's in here? Dragons, probably. Yeah, there's another dragon. Hi, dragon. I like your sprite. Yeah, dang it, he moved. If you are brave enough, try meeting the king of the dragon, you Bahamut. That's that's my dragon voice. Okay, another one up here. Unprofitable business is not a practice of the dragons of Cardia. They do business. Wonder what sort of business they do. I hope it involves stocks. Long ago, dragons and humans lived and traded together. Oh, I guess that's the sort of business they're talking about. Hey, there's something down there. I guess, is that the, is this a looping map? Is that just the, no. I think that's actually the other cave that we're going to go into right now. I like how this, this game has that every now and then. You can just kind of see the other side of the map. I'll show you a few spots where you can do that later on. Manticore. Looks like it has an eye patch. I think this can poison us. Let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> Alright. Ah, most resourceful and insightful guide to this game ever. I don't know what any of these monsters do. I don't know. Hole! Oh, okay. Yeah, I think this is... 
where Bahamut is. You can tell by the ridiculous hallway. I well, want to walk down this hallway. Walk down this hallway. Walk down. <coughs> ah, my soul is coughing. Okay, here we go. And more walking. <laughs> oh, I guess this is supposed to show how grand. You know, those, those candles. Look at all these candles. Dragons. Hi. This is Bahamut's room. Bahamut, very fire, but true courage of all. There he is, Bahamut. He has a slightly different sprite. My name Bahamut. King of the dragons, bring me proof of your courage to receive the honor due true warriors. Oh, we totally want to do that. The honor true warriors is like super awesome. We can like equip new things and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> uh, voices. Okay, so. Now we know what we need to do. We need to go to the castle that that one person told us about in order to prove our courage to this dragon who will grant us some kind of reward, which will be a nice class change, make us all stronger. Eh, a few more little cavey bits to visit around here. Let's go do that really quick. Airship. Airships are sweet. All right. I love airships. I think every game should have airships. Super Mario Brothers, airships. So made Super Mario Brothers 3 so good. They introduced airships. Huh? That makes total sense. Dragon. Now see, now we're in that room that we saw from above. That's fun. We are going to the castle of Ordeal to the northeast. There we will test and bring back proof of our courage. Just in case you didn't know exactly what to do, I am outlining it here. Northeast Castle of Ordeal. <laughs> ordeal. I wonder if kids playing this game that didn't know what the word ordeal meant thought that it was like some fantasy name. Oh, look at these chests. Once in the north, there were beautiful palaces and big mechanical castles. Like in Final Fantasy VI, they go under the desert. Get my way. There's a house. There's a whole house in that treasure chest. I have to imagine that like houses and cabins in, in this game are kind of like the ones from Dragon Ball. Like in capsules. The proof of your courage might be anything. Even a rat's tail. Wait. <laughs> I got some money. Alright. Sweet. So yeah, it's like you talk to enough people and you generally get the idea of where you're supposed to go. It's, it's at least better laid out than the floater. Where there's like one guy that tells you where to use it back in Elf Town, like you'd have a reason to go back there. Ow! Eh, yeah, Ocho. Ocho has appeared in a lot of Final Fantasies. In this one, they poison you. In the later ones, they like inflict like five status ailments on you all at once. Did punk poison my fighter. Okay, da 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 da. -da. Pure. And some healing. Oh, we're running low on potions again. It's alright, guys. Before we head over to the castle, I'll just uh, buy some more heals off screen. Because you guys do not want to watch me buying heals the whole episode. Or do you? Leave a comment. While you're at it, like this video. Subscribe. I love subscribers. Let's see. Oh, now we just need to fix the order. There we go. Fancy pantsy. There we go. That's the way I like it. Okay, are we out of caves? No, I got one more over there. Let's see what's going on now. Is that a cave down there too? Hey, there's so many caves. Alright, let's go on this cave. There we go. More dragons! Hi, dragon. Have you met Bahamut or Dragon King? He honors those who courage are true warriors. Wow, you guys all singing the same song. There is nothing here. Sweet, I'm leaving. So, yeah, that was... Okay, yeah, that one could have just not been there. And it would have not really done much to deter the quality of the game. Let's see what's going on over here. Cave. In a hole, and a jewel, we'll explore. What's in here? Money. I like money. Money. It's the root of all evil, or so says the Catholic Church, as they ask you to give them a lot of money. <laughs> oh. Uh, we want a tough friend of me that I am impressed. Rawr. I'm a dragon, rawr. Here on the Joel channel, we don't mind making controversial statements occasionally. Not really. I was probably edited that out. <laughs> or maybe I'll leave it in, therefore making the part where I talk about editing it out seem even funnier. No, there's probably nobody laughing right now. They're probably just all going, Ugh, did you quit it? Why? Why do you, why do you torture us so? 
totally important hole. Definitely, definitely a good thing that we went there. Okay, three manticores. That is fancy to the pantsy. Alright, let's just beat him up. And we're gonna head over to that castle of ordeals. Or we're gonna castle the heck out of it. No, I'll kill you. Alright, one more. One more manticore. Yep, yep, yep. Kill you to death. There we go. Sweet. Alright. Oh, and we leveled up. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is something we definitely need because the castle is a bit rough. Now, the main... The funny thing is that the most dangerous thing about the Castle of Verdeals is the walk to get over there. <laughs> this is the Castle of Verdeals. And in order to get here, there's nowhere to land over here. Just take my word for it. The closest place that you can land to walk over here is way over here. Or I mean, maybe up here in the north somewhere. No, no, no. Like, like way over here. Or like maybe... Oop, oop, where'd I go? Like, like, right here, and then you have to work your way around over here. I think this is actually the closest. This is the closest. That is a long walk, and the enemies in this area are actually really powerful. Now, there's an easier way, a quicker way. You just take your boat right here. And you just go boop, 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 And instead of walking on the water the whole way, you get off, and you go around right here. We're going to do that. So, I'm going to meet you at the boat uh, at that river opening. Okay, see you there. Hey guys, real quick, uh, we're back in Elf Town. I was buying some heals. I just thought I'd show you. This is the only guy in the entire game that tells you what to do with the floater to get the airship. In the desert south of Crescent, something is emerging from below the sand. Use the floater. Yeah. <laughs> so for some reason, you'd have to you'd have to have a reason to come back to Elf Town. Can you imagine the poor kids that were stuck on Final Fantasy and they didn't have the Nintendo Power Guide. They didn't know what to do. They're just having to go back to every single town in the game to talk to every single person. Most of them saying the exact same thing they have said every time you talk to them, just in hopes of getting a tip on what to do next. Very obscure. Very obscure. <laughs> uh, not quite Legend of Zelda obscure, but that's a little rough. I mean, they got like ten different people telling me to go and do the Castle of Ordeals, and there's like one guy that tells you about the floater. Okay, now I'm really going to go to that river mouth head, and I'll see you there. We're going to go to the castle. It's going to be awesome. Ogres! Okay, we're back. Here we are. We're at that river I showed you earlier. We're going to get off of our boat, and we're going to hang a left, and poof, we're at the castle. Maybe one fight to get in there. Let's see. Nope, we're good. So, remember that crown we got earlier? For some reason, you got to have it in your inventory at this point. It's like, what? Possession of the crown is required to test your courage. Take it to the royal throne and bring back proof of your courage. Good luck. Now think about that, it's like... But you have to have the crown to get this far, because you gotta beat Astos to get the thing, to get the TNT to get the thing. It's like... There's no way you could show up here and not have the crown, because you need the ship and the canoe to get here. I don't know. Okay. These pedestals are like teleport points. Anytime you see more than one, pick the one that is lowest. Not farthest, lowest. It will always get you where you need to go. Oh, see, see, like here, lowest. Ah. Medusas. No, oh. ah, stone. Don't turn us all into stone, or I'll kill you all. Ah, I'll just kill you all anyway. Oh man, if we like, all turn to stone, I'm gonna be so grumpy. Yep, that is why we carry softs. Medusas will turn you to stone, and it is lame. Dang it, we're gonna screw up the amount of experience we're getting now. Well, that's all right. Eventually, when we hit level 50, it'll all even out. Makes our characters more dynamic that they might level up at different times. There we go. Okay. Twin, why aren't you dancing? Oh, oh no, you've been turned to stone. All right, gotta turn him back. Soft. There we go. And then we gotta reorder our party. There we go, like so. Okay. And I'm going to heal up off screen. See you in a moment. All right, we're ready for action. Low pedestal. Ta-da, gets you where you need to be. If you've ever picked the wrong pedestal, it just takes you back to the beginning. you got to do it all over. So just always pick the lowest one. It'll pretty much always serve you right. Yeah, lowest. There we go. So this place here, before you start thinking about pedestals, you want to go in this room. 
and fight these mummies. This is a whiz mummy. He's like a stronger mummy. I think he has some status ailments that he does, so we're just gonna focus uh, most of our fire on him in the first round. And kill a mummy. Oh, mummy. Hey, man. Make him dead for me. I don't want to find out what he's up to. <laughs> I think he, like, paralyzes you or some horrible, horrible thing. Now we got regular mummies. These guys are, like, they're, they're so not a challenge at this point. Like, I think they all hit for, like, one. <laughs> Missed. Oh, he put me to sleep. What a jerk. How am I thieves going to miss out on the fight and all the excitement? That's right, though. He's, not, he's my weakest hitter anyway, so I'm not very concerned. Hey, he woke up. Cool. I like these mummies. I think I said in the last episode, I love that they look like they're wearing sunglasses and they're just kind of hanging out. Just kind of kneeling. And then we murder them. Alright. Kill with some mummies. Oh, do we need to heal? Mm. Now we'll be, we'll be good for one more fight. Okay. So this room has a predetermined fight. Ooh. What's, what's going on? <laughs> You, you didn't see that? Okay. Right here. Yeah, predetermined fight. Gets mud galls. Ah, oh, it's three of them. Sometimes I get two. I like it when I get two. <laughs> These guys aren't very dangerous, though. I mean, they're kind of dangerous, but not very. Let's make them dead. Make them dead. Wham, bam. Mud gall in a can. Those are some pretty well defined abs, these mud galls, but I don't understand why they're kneeling. Like, some of the enemy sprites in this game, I guess they wanted them to be really big. But they only had so much room, so they just have them like crouching and kneeling. It's like they're having to bend over just to reach you, they're so big. Alright, cool. Now we got a treasure. The Zeus squiggle thing. Zeus gauntlets. The Zeus gauntlets. Okay. Now the cool thing about the Zeus gauntlets is where'd they go? Oh yeah, their armor. Yeah. <laughs> is it their armor? No. Is they take the place of uh, gloves. In this case, uh, pro ring. And uh, my guy can't equip them, unfortunately, but they're worth having because uh, they allow you to use some stuff outside of fight. Okay, now see there's three pillars here, and if you follow that path that leads down to the left, it leads to another pillar, but this is technically the lowest one. It gets you where you want to go. So yeah, this is gauntlets. I hope that when I level up to being uh, a new class that my guy actually be able to equip them, but we're giving them to the thief because he's the weakest hitter. Now I'm going to show you what they can do. So we got a regular guy doing our punching. Now, if you go over to item, and you go over to Zeus Gauntlet, you can use them, which, in this case, allows you to use Lightning 2 on all of the enemies, which, in general, is going to add up to more damage than my thief would be putting out the rest of the time. Like, he's doing, like, 50 to 100 damage. It's like, there you go. Now he's doing, like, 50 to 100 to everybody. Yeah. Now, that's a pretty useful thing to have when you have a large group of enemies. This, uh, I think it, it still uses his stats to a certain degree, so with his current stats, he's not going to be doing a lot of damage with it. But I still think it's better overall. Oh, this is an automated fight. You always have to fight these uh, nightmares. They're pretty strong. I think after this fight, we'll have to do some more healing. Ow! Oh, wait, that was now. That was only three damage. You guys are lame. Well, I'll say that when they hit my weaker guys. Ooh, nice hit. Oh, I made him attack instead of using the Scotland. Oh, I'm so slick. Okay. Yeah, we got one. Well, now there's one enemy, so I guess we'll just have an attack anyway. Great. Wham! Take that. <laughs> 40 damage. 30 damage. Oh, man. These guys are not... <laughs> this guy has crazy damage absorption. There we go. Nice. He must be fast, because we weren't hitting him with a lot of hits. Okay. I'm going to do some healing off screen. Be right back. Okay, here we are. So, don't step on the square again unless you want to fight more nightmares. Let's go over here and get the treasure. Heal Staff this is another cool item that you can uh, use outside of battle, or during battle, to do cool stuff. We're going to also give it to our thief so that he can use it during the fights. And we're probably going to be using it quite a bit, actually. So we're going to avoid the Nightmare Square. There we go. So we don't have to fight him again. We need to conserve our potions. Although now we're going to go through them a lot more slowly. Alright, got a gold bracelet. Great. We just bought them. <laughs> Ice Sword and an Iron Gauntlets. Ice Sword is a slight improvement over uh, the Silver Sword this guy has. So there we go. Uh, it doesn't actually have any elemental properties. It's bugged. Okay, we'll just have everybody split their attacks. We'll have him use the Zeus Gauntlets. Yeah, well, yeah, well, you know what? We'll have 
two guys focus on the whiz mummy. Just to be sure, because we don't want to deal with him. Or if we do, we want to deal with him quickly. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Take that. Let's see how these do. Uh, yeah, not killing... Oh, killed one mummy in one hit. The rest are still around. We'll get him. Now we can split our attacks between the remaining three mummies. And we'll just go ahead and heal with him. Just to absorb any blows they might deal out. Now, the healing provided by the heal staff is, like, equal to, like, cure one. Like, regular old cure. But I think it's still worth it to throw down just as much as you can. Just to reduce your reliance on potions. There we go, see? Heals everybody just a little bit. And if you do that a lot, you can usually keep up pretty well with the damage you're receiving. It's not always gonna work, but it can. And there are actually ways to milk it uh, in the game where if you have all your guys focus on one enemy at a time, the fight will last longer. And if you're fighting really weak enemies that aren't good at hitting you, it's a good way to, like, heal some damage caused by, uh, you know, by a powerful enemy. Okay, we had, we had some money in those chests on the right. This one has a house. The one that's over there on the left is, left is empty. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, right here. This is what we came for. The tail. You know, technically, it's a rat tail. And that's what you gotta show Bahamut to show you that you rock. Now, right here is the boss, if you want to call it that, for the area. This little square is an automated fight against Zombie Dragon. So let's fight us a Zombie Dragon. Let's use our heal staff and just have everybody else punch him. Heal staff. Yeah. Hopefully we won't have to cut to healing too often, because I'll just keep using the heal staff during fights. Uh, you know, my thief, his, power, his attacks are so weak, it's just like, ugh, I don't even care. Just rather, rather have the defense boost. I guess I'm just a mage player at heart. Alright, we can fight our dragons, and we get out of here. Sweet. And now we just leave. And we're done here. With Castle for deals. And, uh, let's see. We're going to have to go back to the boat and all the way back to the airship. So I'll meet you there. Okay, we're back. We're just gonna get in the airship again and go back over to Bahamut's cave, and I'll see you over there. Just a moment. Okay, we're back with Bahamut. Look at him there with his special sprite. We're gonna talk to him, tell him about our rat tail. The tail of the rat proves your courage. I shall give you the honor due, true warriors. Ta da! Now we have different sprites. <laughs> and here we go. Now we have new classes. Oop, no. <laughs> Let's see, our fighters are now knights. Our thief is now a ninja. And our monk is now a master. Sweet. And uh, that's all the time we have for today. So with that, I'd like to say, this leg of our adventure is drawn to a close. Rest well for our audience, for we will need all of our hit points for the next exciting episode of Joel Adventures, wherein we'll buy stuff for our new classes and go have adventures. It will be us. See you then.